Hey guys, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing for you of the Umatello. This is a voice over IP option, so it's an internet phone essentially, um, but it's got a little bit of a different twist. You buy the box for a one-time fee of $249 and you get a local phone number or you can port in your landline number and that's it. No additional charges. You can make unlimited calls anywhere in the US for no monthly fee. So I was looking for a home loan, uh, home phone line alternative and I didn't want to sort of pay the monthly fee, especially if I'm going to be moving in a few months and I want to be able to keep my number. So I thought the Umatello would be a good option. I uh, just went out and bought this. You can pick it up from Best Buy again, about 250 bucks. You can plug in your own landline phone and really use it um, anywhere you'd like. So kind of interested to see how it works. Supposedly the voice quality is pretty good. I'm cautiously optimistic, a bit skeptical. I haven't had the best experience with voice over IP options. I've had some dedicated Skype phones. I've tried Vonage. None of them have been the best, but the Umatello has gotten very good reviews. So I'm quite curious to give it a whirl. Let's go ahead and unbox it. And you get, also get a 911 service, uh, call waiting, caller ID, and um, the rest of that stuff. So we'll break the, uh, break the seal here. And before we do that, take a look at the box. So you've got the picture of the device right there, the Umatello, sort of a sleek black. Uh, here are the difference, bundled features, caller ID, call waiting, and 911. Keep your number. If you have a landline, you can keep it, I think, for uh, an additional fee. Use existing phones. That's nice. And easy setup. Umatello on the front. Some info on the back. Let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what we got. You know, I do a lot of work from, from home and always using my cell phone up to my head or on a headset. Then I always get the best reception, quite a bit of dropped calls. So I needed some sort of home phone alternative. So you got just a black slide out box underneath. And this is not a review unit. This is something I went out and purchased um, on my own. Let's open it up. Pretty nice packaging. Congratulations on your UMA purchase. Quick start guide. For your standard array of paperwork, no CD in there or anything. You've got your accessories. You've got a pretty decent small wall plug. It's like a standard, you know, cell phone plug. Then you've got a Ethernet or phone cord rather. And then there is for your cable Ethernet cord. Here is the Uma Tello itself. It's sort of got a slim, uh, slim look to it of a wedge shape. Um, so what this does is it plugs right into your router or cable modem um, and then you can push the phone line out. You can actually go from the internet to your phone line and that'll make all of the phone lines in your house but they're called hot so you can plug in your phone and um, use a tele device. So it's got email and or not email, voicemail and sort of your standard playback functions. It's all capacitive uh, right on the front. You can see on those buttons. And on the back You've got a USB port for, I don't know if you want a power device, there's power option, your home network to internet, uh, phone, and wall. So kind of curious how this is going to work. I will uh, keep you guys posted and stay tuned to Techno Buffalo for a full review. I'm John Rettinger and I'll see you in the next video. Actually, while I have you captive on camera, let's do another unbox a surprise unboxing for those that stuck around to the end. We've got a VTech expandable cordless phone system um, that I'm going to use as well. This is an interesting phone. It's 79 bucks. Picked it up from Best Buy. It's all touch sensitive buttons, which is kind of neat, but it's got Bluetooth built in. So you actually, if you want to use your cell phone, it'll actually treat this phone as a, say, a headset. So you can use your cell phone's connection, but talk right through this. Um, and also, if you want to use it as a standard landline, you can as well. Quite nice, and it's expandable. Let's go ahead and dig into the VTEC. Uh, it should be pretty nice, sort of a slick looking feel to it. You know, being a tech guy, I wanted to uh, have something that looks kind of neat. Um, and it was still reasonably priced, you know, at 79 bucks. I wasn't going to break the bank for a landline that I may or may not like on a system like the UMA that I may or may not use. Owner's manual. <laughs> Talk. I don't think there's a cloth to clean it. Here's the base. It also comes with. Uh, you know, voicemail answering system and all that. Uh, capacitive, touch sensitive buttons. Power. Phone. 
back of the phone and battery. And here is the actual phone itself, which is kind of cool looking. Uh, it's pretty slick, all touch buttons, pretty thin um, as well. And it looks like there's actually a spot for a SIM card in there. You can see that. Oh, no, it's a, a battery indicator. That would be kind of neat, though, if you could have slid a SIM card right in there and make this your cell phone as well. Um, nice phone, pretty decent quality from what I read on the reviews, nothing terribly fancy. Just a standard land phone. Anyway, guys, John Rettinger, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.